What we're going to make today is a Navran of Lem. You can either use leg or shoulder. For this we've used shoulder. We've trimmed off any excess fat and sinew. The next stage is to heat the pan nice and hot and don't cramp the pan with too much lamb because it will steam. It needs to brown evenly to afford a nice colour into the finished product. So as you can see, we have a nice golden colour on the lamb. Make sure all the sides are coated with a good even colour. Now take time on this because this is important for two reasons. One, for the colour of the end product, a nice, rich, dark colour. And secondly, the browning effect, which is called the Maillard reaction, will offer a nice roasted, deep flavour into the braised finished dish. Okay, as you can see now, all the meat is an even colour on the outside, well browned. Now what we're going to do is transfer it to the cooking pot and use the same pan, a bit more oil, to brown the vegetables and the flour. So in here we have carrots, garlic, onions. Now we're going to brown them in the same pan and remove the sediment from the base to add flavour to the stock. Now the vegetables have got some colour. Again into the cooking pan. Make sure you remove all the sediment from the pan. And now it's time for the flour to be browned. Again using the same pan. Now what we're adding is the tomato, tomato puree. Coating all of the lamb and vegetables. Side. And as, you can see, as you can see now, the flour has toasted well, nice golden colour. Now this will be added to the cooking pan with the lamb, vegetables, tomato puree. Mix together making sure all the sediment is from the base of the pan. Ensure that the vegetables and meat don't stick to the side of the pan. Now we'll add some stock. In a couple of stages, good opportunity to remove all the sediment from the base of the cooking pan. As you can see now, it's started to thicken slightly. Touch more stock. Ensure that all the sides of the pan are kept clean. Pushing all the cooking mirepoix sauce into the main body of the pan. And as you can see that it's starting to thicken up beautifully. We need to make it a little bit wetter than our serving consistency. During the cooking process, there'll be a small amount of evaporation. Ensure again the sides of the pan are clean. All the ingredients are needed to make this lamb beautiful. Touch more stock. Bring to the simmer, adding a, a bouquet garni, and then this can either be cooked in the oven or on top of the stove for about an hour and a half to two hours. 
We have the navran now. It's been cooking for an hour and a half. Beautifully tender. And we're going to now pass all the lamb, mirepoix. Through a colander. Now at this stage what we're looking for, we're removing the lamb singularly and putting it into a clean pan. Okay, that's all the lamb removed. You see the excess mirepoix on the base here. Give the colander a tap. And then now that this beautiful rich sauce. We're going to cut the lamb with. We're going to add some cooked turned carrots and onions. You can garnish this with other ingredients such as potatoes, sweet, baby nave. And then just a sprinkle of chopped parsley. Beautiful consistency on the, the sauce. Okay, as you can see now, this lamb is finished. One last taste. Just a small amount of salt. Perfect. Ready to serve.